Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Lisa Lazarus. She is CEO at Horse Racing Integrity and Safety Authority. Lisa, it is wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. It's terrific to be here. So now, Lisa, tell me about the Horse Racing Integrity and Safety Authority. Sure. So it is the first national governing body for horse racing. Horse racing was historically governed and regulated state by state by the gaming and racing commissions. And so just like every other sport, we now have a national centralized body that oversees all of horse racing. We're really focused on integrity, which is our anti-doping programs, uh, as well as safety. You know, making sure the horses are safe and the jockeys who ride them are safe. Now, you recently announced a partnership with NYSE listed Palantir Technologies. So what was the driving for driving force behind this collaboration? So Heisa's, and that's, we go by Heisa, that our biggest challenge, the most important metric that horse racing is measured by is keeping the horses especially safe. And we keep the horses safe, we keep the riders safe, the jockeys safe. So it's also an incredibly data rich environment, horse racing. If anyone's been to the track, you know, if you're, if you're handicapping, you can sort of look in the racing form and follow, find all kinds of data. So we have all of this data and we have this problem which is horses that, that, that get injured and unfortunately have to be euthanized from time to time. We desperately want to reduce that. How do we take that data and create a tool that's going to be effective for us in addressing our problem? And Palantir has obviously done exceptional things in defense space and in other areas. And we sort of had, a, we had an interaction with them. They had some sort of you know, artificial intelligence seminar that was impressive. And we thought you know, sports would also make a whole lot of sense to use those same technologies. And we've been really fortunate in our work with them because the tools that they've given us have allowed us to really accelerate um, this work and develop the algorithms that are really helping us kind of achieve these safety goals. So it does make sense that you would have this partnership with Palantir Absolutely. Technologies. Yes. Now walk me through the technology that you'll be using sure. and how it'll work. Okay. So right now it's currently still in its testing phases. We're using it, um, but it's more as a beta test as we make it better and better and the machine learning improves it. But essentially what it does is it takes a whole lot of metrics, actually 42 different factors about a horse, things like you know, has the horse ever been injured? Has the horse changed trainers? Has the horse been off for a period of time? Um, what's the performances look like? It takes all of that data. What do her veterinary history look like? And essentially computes it into a risk factor, um, a numerical risk factor. And that numerical risk factor is an indication to the veterinarians as to whether or not that horse needs extra scrutiny before it's allowed to race. And so what we do is we generate all of this data we will ultimately provide it to every race check in the country every morning, um, evaluating their race card for the day, the horses that are racing, that will essentially empower them to be much more effective, we believe, at ascertaining whether horses have any sort of pre-existing injury or concern that should keep them off the racetrack. And how are you collecting this data that powers this so tool? So one thing we're really fortunate about at Haiza is unlike most governing bodies, we're actually created by federal law. Congress passed the law creating the Horse Basic Integrity and Safety Authority. And so that law mandates that our stakeholders enter information about, about the horses. So particularly veterinary information has to be entered within 24 hours by the veterinarians. Performance data is obviously collected by the jockey club, by racetracks. And um, we have a HISA portal that we've just recently built, will be built when we launched, um, that essentially collects all of this data in one place. And, um, and so putting that portal and that data environment together with Palantir's very effective tools, we've been able to create these algorithms. Now, as CEO, how do you see this partnership with Palantir and technology contributing to the broader mission in promoting equal welfare and safety? Yeah, so we, you know, we need the tools to be able to allow us to do our job more effectively. And in today's environment, you know, not taking advantage of AI, machine learning, the sort of some of the powerful things that Palantir has developed would really be a miss, you know, because it, it really allows us to do things that we couldn't do previously. And horse racing, its future depends on the public believing that horses are safe um, and that the jockeys are safe. And so this is an incredibly important partnership for us because they're essentially giving us the tools to do our job well. 
All right. Well, Lisa, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks Thank for you. joining me on Floor Talk today. It's terrific to be here. What a phenomenal place. <laughs> Thank you.